Hey, it's Janice Gaines and you're checking out Radio One. Greatest life ever. Um, well, there's a song with that same title and LaShawn and I were writing the song and we recorded it and it was just so fun. It's like a party track. It was so fun that we decided, because both of our personalities are pretty bubbly, we decided that that had to be the title track because it's representative of all we felt in making the music. And I don't want people to think that if their life is not going the way that they intend for it to go, that they cannot live the greatest life ever. I think living the greatest life ever has everything to do with choosing Jesus. And so if you choose Jesus, even in the hard times, he'll make it better. And in the good times, he'll make it the best. So I think living the greatest life ever has everything to do with choosing Jesus and making him the Lord of your life. We did not sit down and say, um, we're not gonna say the name God and wait on you. It actually wasn't that. I think living in the Bible Belt, I'm sure, I know I do, but I, I think people in the Christian community, we use pronouns a lot, um, assuming that everybody knows who we're talking about. And so it occurs to me, as the album is done, that maybe on the next album, I'll be more intentional about that. Um, but no, it was not intentional. I hope everybody does know that I'm talking about God, because he's the one I'm truly waiting on. How do we attract people who are very serious about their gospel and remain true to me, to being me? I think the funny thing is I am both, I don't know how, but very silly and very serious. Like I went to seminary and got a master of divinity. So when it comes to theological issues, I'm very, very serious. And um, I have what I believe is the Bible stance on things. And so I'm very serious about that. And I think that's how you connect with people who are very serious about their Christianity. I also believe that our Lord had a lot of fun on earth. I'm just saying, you know, and so I intend to live my life with joy because I think Jesus lived his life with joy. And though things are serious, they can also be fun.